Hey everybody, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today, as always, I'm without daughter. I shouldn't say as always, but most of the time. Uh, but you have me, Margarita Kid. I've got an Elijah Craig small batch bourbon uh, that I'll be enjoying during this uh, reaction, which today is The Warning Stalker, live at Lunario. I've been working my way through the Queen of the Murder Scene album in this concert, and so far... Um, Things have started to descend a little bit with our protagonist. Um, last song, she was starting to show signs of uh, turning the obsession into something a little bit more than obsession. Uh, there seemed to be some indication of uh, her turning herself into the one uh, by potentially uh, lethal means. <laughs> I don't know if there's specific people in mind that she was thinking she needed to get rid of. Uh, at this point, you know, it was just talk. We'll see if it turns into anything a little bit more. The name of the song that we're watching is Stalker. So I'm guessing that uh, she may not be taking too serious of action at this point. Uh, but she may be, you know, you know, I, I don't know, gathering information <laughs> about what she needs to do. I don't know exactly what's going on. Uh, we'll see. Let's do it. Oh, so I'm on chapter two. Uh, and piano opening, nice. so like kind of dark and dissonant I mean it's, it's nice but uh, the melody is kind of minor and there's those noises happening in the background I'm not sure what that is but they give it kind of a eerie feel I am yours, you right there I don't know what that is You gotta be concerned when they say, I'll oh, tie the rope. Uh, makes me think of misery, Stephen King thing. Uh, but great vocals there. I hear that again. Okay, the great vocals are continuing. Uh, it's a different kind of vocal style than I'm used to her hearing. Uh, and I guess, you know, she doesn't know that no means no. Uh, it's interesting, in the last song, we kind of talked about how when people are obsessed with somebody, a lot of times they, you know, it's kind of this head or heart battle. Uh, you know, the head's like, well, you know, they don't like me, but the heart's like, well, but they might, right? And then it just depends on who wins that battle. And at this point, it sounds like the battle's over. It sounds like the heart's, or the head's gone. Heart's taken over and really thinks like we're meant to be together and that's that.
Wow. Even the piano at the end, I think, had a very different tone. I think in the beginning it was more piano sounding. At the end it sounded a lot more like synth processed strange. Uh, but there was something I wanted to look at real quickly. This picture, before I get into some of the other stuff, is this the girl looking in the guy's window? Is that what that's supposed to represent? That's funny, for a split second I was wondering why this girl had a drum set in the picture and then I realized it was Pow. <laughs> it just kind of blended in with the picture. Uh, yeah, so this one was a little bit different. This was dark. I like the song a lot. Uh, the vocals on Danny were something I haven't heard, I don't think, before, quite like she sang this one. This was really intense uh, and just fabulous, really. Uh, Something some other people have pointed out in other comments is just about you know the, the amazing bass lines that uh, Ali's been playing. And I was trying to listen for them, and I, I heard them this time. For whatever reason, normally I hear her bass really well, but in this concert I almost feel like she's turned down just a little bit more than usual. So I'm having, a, I'm having to actually focus on hearing her bass in the mix as opposed to normally it's kind of beating me over the head some uh, or at least you know maybe in a couple of the songs and this one I felt like it was that way uh, but man what a great song and I loved you know the piano opening and, and at the end when it was you know kind of going back down I was hoping it would go back to the piano and she did uh, but then it was even better because it wasn't just like a nice you know piano sound it was something uh, nice and distorted uh, I love this guy's hand here with a little you know, thing going on uh, so yeah, it seems like we've kind of made the full transition at this point. And I think this is what this is. Maybe it's the girl from behind. I don't know if she's got uh, something over her to tell. But it looks like trees in the background. Is somebody looking out of her window? I don't know. I'll have to think about that one. Or you know, maybe somebody can tell me. Uh, but anyway, good stuff. I'm really glad uh, that I watched this one today and I actually didn't look to see what the name of the next one is uh, so I will uh, whatever that is I'll be reacting to it pretty soon thanks everybody for joining me on this journey and as always have a great day thanks